Greetings fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel and welcome to episode 6 of my Rising World. It's been a little while since I came to this world myself. Uh, I do like it very much but I've been doing other things and the long awaited farming update is finally here which means here I'm again in my farmhouse which I built in the last episode um, and today I'm going to be taking advantage of the fact that we can now finally farm. Farming's limited at the moment, but uh, it's uh, enough to get us started. And that's kind of why I bought, I uh, made this farmhouse in the first place. So you can see I started building some walls and setting out where my fields are gonna be. So I'm just gonna show you what I've, what I've done so far. This is going to be the barn, which is basically gonna be my crafting area for the farm, um, because my other crafting area is actually quite a long way away, so it's not exactly convenient to go over there every five minutes um we've got some new blocks that we can craft now as well but i don't know if i'm going to need any of those from here really what i'd like to contrive is some sort of fencing um but i'm not sure how easy that's going to make be to make because i haven't actually tried any yet um but rest assured i shall because fencing farms need fencing really uh really i want to have a uh, livestock sort of field here but i can't actually put any livestock in it yet that is coming we're assured but it's going to take a while so um first of all it's going to be a field for tilling and that's just over there ultimately i, I want to have an orchard out the front of the house as well and the other thing that i'd quite like to do this update is um uh, yeah, kind of build a gateway at the, the bottom of the driveway there. Um, I've got some ideas about that. But before I do anything else, I think it's probably time to eat some breakfast before I starve to death. So I should have enough resources, I hope. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a lot of that off camera. So first thing I'm going to do is look to my stone. I've got a lot of this and... No, we haven't got any stone. This is strange. I might have to go and get some then, unless I put a load in here. No, I haven't. Okay, so, but, oh, I have got, this is why. We don't need these. Just get those out of the way. Here's the stone. I thought I had enough. No, not the wood. Stone. Wall. There. I've even got some railings there, but that's for the front of the house rather than the fence uh, railings. So we'll get this block and you can see what I'm doing. Basically I've built a little bit of a wall there. I've done a kind of a, a, a trackway leading to the barn. And basically this bit here um, is just gonna, if I can, I'm just gonna fence the wall off this bit here. And there's a cave over there, so I don't want anything falling down it. And then I'm gonna put um, a wall around this area as well. Um, but this one here, I'm going to divide the two off. So we've got, this is going to be my field for veggies. Oh, rats, I hate when that happens. I do like being able to place a row of blocks, but it's annoying when you accidentally place too many. The landscape's not exactly flat either, which means that um, it's kind of dipping up and down. I might have to just level it out before I can till and plant. I don't know, but there you go. At the moment, just plotting out the the fields, really. So I'm not quite sure how far this one's going to go. It doesn't need to be massive, I don't think. And we've got another wall there. So maybe that one will come over to this one. And then this is going to go somewhere over there this is going to be my uh, livestock field eventually but as i say not going to worry too much about that at the moment can't actually read any livestock really don't want to fall down that hole so i will probably place a fence or place a wall of some sort across there just to make sure i don't go that far and that my farm uh, doesn't extend too far so I'm going to do a bit of building off camera and then I'll show you where we've got to. So I've pretty much finished doing my farm now, uh, or at least as far as I can do without any actual farming. So what I did, which I finished last night, I've built this compound in here. 
still got that fox swimming in the gravel at the bottom of the drive, which is quite annoying. Um, I built this as a field for putting crops in, and I had a bit of a job leveling it off, and I couldn't quite persuade this last bit to to level off. Um, for some reason, your ability to level stuff off the ground off just seems to run out after a while, and it just wouldn't level it anymore. Don't know why. And I can't level this corner out either. All I can do is get rid of the grass. So there we go. So this is where I'm going to be planting my veggies. And then up here, I've just got cut the grass a little bit here as well. My barn building, which is actually quite tall because I decided I was going to put in a little mezzanine for storage. So I've got my crafting area down here with all my workbenches, my block bench and an anvil and then and a chest for storage of materials and i put some barrels as well which of course you can use as I've got nothing in them at the moment um you can use as storage i've got a ladder to go up into the roof space uh where i've put some more barrels and i think the only one i've put anything in at the moment is this one here where i've just collected a few apples with chopping down trees and a couple of melons um and of course at the moment we can't farm apples or melons or anything like that or pumpkins which i don't think yes the, at this point in the game uh, development we still can't do anything with pumpkins they just sort of sit there um maybe we're supposed to wear them on our heads or something i've no idea um and then basically this here is planned as an animal paddock so when i mean we can finally um breed your pigs and your sheep and goats and things i shall have some animals in this paddock i'll probably have to make the walls a little bit higher but at the moment it's just just in the planning kind of stage i've just noticed that i need to eat and we've still got no water so we still have to rely on melon for uh, satisfying the thirst urge i am looking forward to water uh, being implemented in the game because it is visibly lacking without it um even when you know if you're thinking without the, the immersion of drinking so uh, so there we go so I've, I've pretty much got my um my outside area sorted out for the moment um also planning on having an orchard along the side of the house down here so something i'm i've planted a few tra saplings as well um so kind of along here probably um when we can plant trees um eventually but for the time being, um, let's do some farming. Now, there's two things we need to do, or we need to make, before we can do any farming. And that's going to be on here, our crafting bench. And we need tools. Uh, what we need to make, we need to make a sickle, and we need to make a hoe. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to need the components on here first sickle blade still free to create because we've still got no ores and we need to make those up now oh hang on i don't have i do have lumber but i need some sticks so sticks not quite sure how many i need those to be honest right we'll find out sickle there we go and we also need a hoe there we go. So it only needs one s stick and I've got 15 sticks. Did I make that now? Wow. Okay then. So there we go. So we now have a hoe and a sickle. Now it's fairly obvious what the hoe's for. But in actual fact, we need the sickle. And I'm just totally assuming... Oh, there we go. Look, that did work. We've got a carrot, but we've also got a carrot sapling, which is ace. Now the carrot's actually really, really difficult to spot. The tomatoes are dead easy. Look, you can see some over there from here. But the ca carrots are really difficult to spot. And I just spotted that one there when I cut the grass. And also, obviously, this one here when I cut the grass. So, um, and then we've got four carrot saplings. Okay, so it's going to take quite a few saplings to fill this place up, obviously. Um, and once you've got one, then arguably you can, you know, fill up with um, saplings from all over. Uh, and you can harvest your own saplings for further, further saplings, if that makes any sense. But, uh, yeah, but trying to find carrot saplings in this lot, virtually impossible. There's probably loads of them around. There's probably quite as many carrot saplings as there are carrot plants as there are tomatoes but you can see the tomatoes because they're red you just 
can't see the carrots because they're so low down. So, um, there we go. Did I get... Yeah, I got some tomatoes and I got a couple of saplings as well. So we'll just collect, collect a few of these for the moment because as much as I'd like to grow a load of carrots without turning grass off in the settings, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to learn to spot those ever so well. So I might just have to take saplings from my own plants. Slight blueness going on there, I'm not quite sure why. Oh, 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 cave. Yeah, I should know about that one. It's one of my own mines. So yeah, ultimately, hopefully, we'll, be, we'll have fruit trees. We've still got this slight weirdness at the moment of collecting apples from, you know, these normal type trees that we chop down. The trees, by the way, um, seem to have regrown or randomized themselves in strange ways since I last played um, with the update. The trees seem to have put themselves... Well, I had to t take one down that was in the middle of the road, which was a bit strange, really. Now that looks like... What is it? Is that a melon? I actually have no idea. And doing that does nothing, so that must be a plant of some sort. What did I just pick up? It was a melon, that's cool. Okay, so the grass is really nice and lush in this game, but blimey, it's difficult to see anything. I also look forward to a time when I can plant, you know, fruit trees, but flowers, I mean, you know, I have a plot at the front of the house where I actually really, really want to um, just plant some flowers. I'm pretty sure we can't do that yet. Literally, the only things that we can plant at the moment, with the aid of a sickle and hoe, um, are um, tomatoes and carrots, that's it. I really, really can't see any carrot plants at all. So, I'm going to avoid the cave there and just do a quick tour around, but I don't think so. Not without doing a lawnmower job everywhere. I'll have that melon while I'm, while I'm about it. I assume that eventually we'll be able to cultivate those too. I think I could probably jump over this here. I did manage to make a fence of sorts, but the uh, height of the post is slightly randomised. Can't jump over it. <laughs> Didn't make a gate out the back there. I might do that for convenience sake. Um, but yeah, I just used a load of beams there. I used grid to... Uh, the G grid to uh, be able to sort of put, snap them all in, absolutely into place just like I did in the mezzanine in the barn very useful functionality that and I had a lot of leveling to do in here hence it's all been raked over so uh, okay so now I've got my I just need to I've got a lot of bits of wall there I need to equip my hoe and my saplings so we've got tomato saplings and we've got carrot saplings okay so where's the hoe here it is so i've never done this before as i say so i'm assuming we kind of do this oh and it's hoeing now does it make any difference which way around no okay so the hoe texture doesn't necessarily go the way you want it to go so in this case it's kind of going i would have done lengthways myself but that's just me And I'm not sure if we can change the texture back with the rake. Yes, we can. Okay, that's quite good. Because if the texture, if the hope, my fields are going to go that way. If the tilling's going to go that way, I want a path down the middle, probably. So. Not that I'm going to need masses of space at the moment for my four tomato saplings on one side and my nine carrot on the other oh no it's the other way around but there you go you have to start somewhere don't you just tidy it up a bit I do find it quite difficult to do straight lines with these okay so then let's see how this works 
we can just place them like we place objects, I assume. Like, oh yeah, like that. And put them in a nice straight row. And I'm not absolutely sure if when we put another row in, I can probably turn the saplings around a bit actually if I want to be OCD about it. Yeah, and I don't want them all looking like they're in the same. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Actually, we can't. No, we can't use a grid. Okay, well, can't take my OCD to that level then. That's fine. Um, yeah, so when you're harvesting these, I'm not quite sure if that results in um, the plants sort of thoroughly disappearing. You have to replant. I'm not sure. And then we've got enough to start off just one more row of them over here. Okay, and that's that. My carrots on the other side. Gosh, they're tiny. And that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> so, yeah, really quite difficult to find the carrot plants, but... Uh, I guess I'll be able to put, um, yeah, when they grow, and I don't know how long they take to grow, actually. Um, so, in the meantime, I'm just going to leave them. I might get around to hoeing out the rest of the field um, in readiness, but I'm just going to have to leave those plants and see how long they take to grow. Did I miss a bit here? Because that doesn't look quite right. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that for the time being. Uh, but I have other plans, other things I want to do um, involving sort of gates. I'm not sure how much of this I'll do now, but I do need to... I feel like I need to make some sort of statement down the bottom of the driveway here, other than there's a fox stuck in my... The thing is, I know it's never going to move... Um, Unless I kill it, but I just quite can't quite bring myself to kill it. So that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so what I wanted to do here really, I guess, was um, put some, yeah, put some, some fence posts in like this. Now I want to make sure that this is actually in a straight line. Okay, so we've got a couple of gate posts effectively. for my farm. Now there's probably there's some new blocks in the game now uh, so there might be a, a nice new block that I can put on top of there for decoration like a pyramid block maybe I'd rather have a sort of a, a ball or something we don't have anything like that at the moment so I might just leave those for the moment I'm not sure if I can attach a, a light to them then being round and all um, keep walking over this flaming fox oh, stop it and then the other thing i guess is to have a fence or a wall a low wall at least going away from there in a straight line across the side of my farmhouse i'm not sure quite how far that's going to be visible for because um i might just have to do it at a higher level now this is the trouble i find you have to you have a lot of leveling to do, uh, or you have sort of terraced walls. Let's see. Is that still visible there? And I just want that to go pretty much up to the end of the farmhouse there. And I might do a boundary coming down here, but I haven't fully decided yet. That's just to a bit of demarcation, really. So, there we go. Looks like I've run out of bacon again, but I'm just going to ignore that for the time being. And we'll perhaps have a few going the other way as well, probably up to the end of there. Up to the end of the wall I've already placed. Oh, great, they're all under the ground. Well, that's really helpful. I might get my pickaxe and dig that up. 
Don't need my hoe now. Where's my pickaxe? There it is. Oh, I always go the wrong way. Sort of. But we're going to have to make that taller anyway, aren't we? So let's just may as well do that. Oh, I've run out. Okay. No, I, it won't do that because I'm standing on it. That was stupid. Okay, I've got loads more of them, so it's not a problem. Okay, so there we go. We have the beginnings of a wall there. But my plan is not to make this wall particularly high. Um, it just sort of needs to go higher at this point because otherwise it's really ground level. And then I was thinking maybe of putting railings on the top of it. Oops, too far there. Do we grid this? Yeah, we can grid this. But I might do that if that's going to be the end of the wall. No, let's start the other end. That would be sensible, I think. There we go. And I've made quite a few of these, but I'll probably have to make some more. Oh, wait, that didn't work right, did it? In fact, I didn't do either of those very well, did I? Stupid. Can get rid of things, but it just doesn't seem like they're going to go away. It's the most things you can get rid of, but it doesn't make the appropriate sound either, so I'm not absolutely certain you can get rid of these. Ah, now I'm hitting it. There we go. And that one as well. So I'll have to make plenty of these, but at the moment it doesn't actually cost you to make them, apart from the time, because uh, that's why I've got so many. That's better. That's actually in the right place. There we go. Yeah, because you don't actually need the resources to make these, because there isn't any metal in the game, so anything you craft on the anvil is still free. There we go. Um, there's loads of farm animals around here. I, I'm not sure. I mean, it's been a while since I've killed any because I haven't been playing, but I don't know if they respawn. I, that, they didn't. The last time I knew anything about it, they didn't respawn. So I would think that they still don't. In which case, being able to breed them is really quite essential. If you want to keep yourself in bacon. Let's see... We still don't have to worry about hostile mobs, though. Apparently they are coming in the next update, which is kind of exciting. Um, but I'm not sure what form those hostile mobs will take. Um, whether they'll be... Um, yeah, I don't know what kind of hostile mobs they'll be, and I don't know whether they'll be in um, just pr everywhere, or whether they'll be... I'm going to need to get rid of that tree... Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether they'll be sort of everywhere in the world or just in dungeons. I think I read somewhere that they were going to be in dungeons rather than rather than you know in the world in general, in the hell zone and in in uh, caves and dungeons and things. Not that we've got any dungeons at the moment, but oh apples! Most trees seem to drop a couple of apples now, but again in the uh, in the long grass they're really really difficult to spot so uh, and sometimes they just drop completely out of sight straight through the ground which is really annoying because uh, yeah you can't grow them at the moment so the only chance you've got really of, of collecting them at all is uh, finding them when they drop off a tree let's see if I can do I have any yeah we do Do we have another one because I could do with saplings I like to replant I like to be sustainable and I like to have um, trees around my farmlands. I just like to be able to dictate where they go. Like not in the middle of my wall, for example. Okay, now, are oh, my other apples there? Look, yay. Okay. Okay. 
okay and that wool is now kind of disappearing into nothing as well so I'm going to have to make it a little bit higher but yeah I will probably just continue this wall to the end of there and then I've basically got a paddock either side where I can put well anything I like really which is cool but for now I think I'll just put in one more of these which is perfect fitting there we go and then I'd better have some food Uh, looks like this one's going to go down soon anyway. Um, so maybe the next thing to do, I'll just have a look at these, but I don't suppose for a moment that they've grown. No, no idea how long these actually take to grow. So what I'll do is um, I will do a bit off camera, just kind of fixing my front there and what have you. And then when it's time for harvest, we'll uh, come back and do that. It's a day or two later, uh, about 24 hours I think, and I think my farm is, farmstead is finally finished. I actually quite like these gate posts. I put a couple of uh, pointed pyramid blocks, which are one of the new blocks, on top of there, and actually it doesn't look too bad, it looks pretty good. Slightly medieval perhaps. Uh, it's giving me ideas about making a ore, an ore. I'm sorry, I've just noticed I've got some ore in here and I have honestly no idea where I got that from. I didn't think there was any ores in game. And all I've been doing is just, I don't know, changing some walls around. I don't think I've even been mining. So I have no idea where that came from. So that's quite exciting. So there is such a thing as ore. Okay. Right, I've now lost the plot completely. Um, I was just going to see if I could put, and I think I can, torches on these gate posts because if I can do that then I'll have some again slightly medieval looking lights on my gate posts there we go and I've made some more to put up around the farm as well we have a lamp post here just outside but there's places around the farm where I'm going to need some lighting as well So if we go here, I don't really need my light, do I? Uh, we can see my field. Um, I've basically tilled the rest of it, but left paths in between. So just for immersion's sake, you don't actually destroy your plants by walking on them. But you can see my four carrot plants have actually um, grown carrots, but my tomato plants haven't yet. They look like they're the full height, but there's no tomatoes on them. So I'm not gonna be able to harvest those. Um, I'm not entirely sure these are right. I'm fairly sure if I if I click with the action button there, I will just um, I will just pick them. Um, but what I really want to do with these is get the carrots and the saplings. I think I've got some more saplings. I've got six carrot saplings there. So I think you get more saplings from them than you actually get. Um, then you actually had to start with so it does actually work that we can get saplings from our own plants because I only had four and now I've got six so I've got a few more to plant out which I just don't fancy my chances of finding them not without mowing the world so there we go. So the carrots look like they actually grow and re reach maturity before the tomato plants do. Um, so I'm just going to have to leave the tomato plants for a little bit longer. But I've got a couple more uh, carrot plants now. So there we go. So I've got four beds here. It looks like I didn't do a brilliant job of hoeing this one. There we go. Uh, I've got four beds here now. Hopefully we'll be able to have four different crop types maybe. Um, I've then got a big area around here which I can plant up as an orchard. So I'm uh, really hoping for the ability to make gates at some point. There's a big gate there would be nice. Uh, but more practically I could do with a, an actual gate on my field up here so that if I keep animals there they don't just wander off because at the moment they'll just wander off out the gate and away they go you know so uh, I'm hoping I can avoid uh, my animals getting out 
when I finally got some. So um, that's a consideration once it comes to animal rearing. Uh, we need to be able to keep our animals in the pen. Um, and then, yeah, just put a little wall there as well so that the whole place is nicely enclosed. Oh, that's a little bit uneven. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish you could get the grass to grow back afterwards. That's something else I really would like is, is the ability to have grass that grows back. Because, um, uh, yeah, without that, we've, yeah, we've got these random paths leading into nowhere. So much as I like um, lining my paths, uh, let's see, I don't know how many more blocks. So I could probably do with putting some torches around the rest of the buildings as well. See, the dusk is starting to come on now, but um, I might need to build these gate posts up a bit before I do that. And I left my blocks in here. So I use this to store my blocks. They're the right kind of blocks. I've actually, it's a bit weird. I've got blocks of two different types here. I've got this type on this side, like so, and this type on this side, which I can't get to, which is great. There. And then I can probably, oops, do like the grid. There we go. Voila, a little bit of light. Okay, I've got a light hanging there, so that should be okay. Uh, and the other place where I might want to put a light is around here, where I've actually built, I had a gateway going through there, but it's pretty much going through into a hill, which isn't very helpful. Um, but I've built an archway that goes through into my orchard area here. Uh, I'll leave those bushes because I actually quite like them. And that's my pathway going through. So I've then I've got this big kind of garden area. Um, and the archway here is, is one of the new blocks as well. So that's kind of nice. So what I might do is put a torch here opposite the archway. And then that lights that up. And then the only thing that occurred to me, I probably need to change. See, I've got this. I really want to be able to plant some flowers there because uh, that would look great. <laughs> and then the only thing that occurs to me really is uh, having blocked that rear entrance up, then um, there is a loft space under the roof which can't be reached from the inside. So I might have to change that. Um, so that I can reach my own loft space from inside. I added a, I added a, a blind to the bathroom because it seems like a good thing to do. And it did occur to me that I could have put two beds right next to each other to effectively make a double bed, but I didn't do that. So there you go. So yeah, I might I might change it so that I can access the loft space because the only thing I can do at the moment, having closed that off, is go all the way around the outside to do that. Um, and I don't really want to open this up now. Uh, it's not like there's anything very much up there. I just decided it'd be cool to leave that open when I was... Um, so, yeah, actually, a good place to access the loft might be from this little courtyard here. So I might do that. How awkward is that going to be to do now? Um, I need a ladder, but... Not a big deal, I don't suppose. See, if I'd put that, these blocks one stage back, actually, that might have been easier to put it there. So what I might do is move this wall. back a notch and then but I've actually got a doorway in there and everything so it's going to take a little bit of building to do that but I will just because I'm a perfectionist but I won't do that on camera uh, I've I've done pretty much what I uh, set out to do here there we go uh, it's probably going to take another day perhaps to be able to harvest my tomatoes but I'm hoping I will do another video update 
um, when the next update comes out, which is hostile mobs. And then hopefully it won't be too long after that when we can um, breed animals and domesticate animals and maybe um, extended farming as well so we can grow some more crops. Yeah, those I need, isn't it? So if I put my wall there. And in there. It's quite difficult to get in under there, but that's fine. And then across there. And the jobs are good. And then if I get a ladder going up there, then my entry will be in there. But I'll have to have a look and see because I, I might need a couple of blocks to to get that to, to work because I do have a proper bona fide door set up around the around the corner. Anyway, we will be back to visit my my farm at some point, I dare say. Um, I kind of built this place because I knew we were going to be able to um, do some subsistence farming on the land and, and, and hopefully we'll be able to breed some animals. And that sheep is clipping through my street lamp silly creatures uh, so yeah we will look forward to seeing how this game progresses in the future so uh, thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it this game does show a lot of promise and the sheep is standing on top of the fox uh, uh, other than you know the obvious glitches which we all know occur in these things um yeah it shows a lot of promise and i'm really looking forward to seeing how it develops further in the future and it's really fun to just mess around with it at the moment build some pretty nice looking things so thanks for watching guys hit the like button if you liked it and check out what else i've got on my channel and i'll see you later Bye bye <laughs>